Hey y'all, what is up? My name is Kimberly. For those of y'all that don't know me, hi, I make videos about Germany and I'm an American. So if that's your cup of tea, if that's your thing, please consider hitting the subscribe button down below or liking this video. Either one helps me and I just appreciate you guys being here. In today's video, I'm going to do a classic video comparing differences between Germany and the US. Today, I'm going to compare gas stations. Um, this is actually a video that I didn't really think about doing. Max actually thought about doing this. For those of y'all that don't know who Max is, that is my fiance as of two weeks ago, three weeks ago, and he is German. And since we've been back in the US, he's noticed a lot of differences between gas stations and he was just absolutely adamant that I make this video. And when we really started to talk about it, we both noticed that there are a lot of differences between the two gas stations. So first off, the very obvious is that gas stations in the USA tend to be a lot bigger. Uh, but again, I feel generally speaking, everything in the US is bigger. All of the buildings, like just the roads, everything happens to be bigger in the USA. I think that that is very cliche and stereotypical, but I think it's mostly true that everything is bigger in the USA. This is a really strange difference that I didn't even know about, but Max told me about this, and that is that diesel in Germany is cheaper than the normal petroleum gas. It's the other way around in the US. Diesel's way more expensive than normal gas, and I honestly don't know why this is the case. So if y'all know why that is so, please let me know down in the comments below. I would be really curious to know why, again, I don't know exactly like the logistical thing behind that. This is one of the biggest differences that I've personally have noticed. I've never driven in Germany. I've always been the passenger while Max drives because in Germany, you drive with stick shift and I don't know how to drive stick. I only know how to drive a car that is automatic. Um, but this is the biggest difference that I've noticed going to gas stations with Max and that is in Germany, you still have to go inside to pay for your gas. Um, you can do that in the US. Usually people do that if they only have cash on them, they go inside to pay. Um, in the US, it's all pay at the pump. So you pay right there at the pump, you put your card there, and it's really simple and easy and quick and efficient. I don't know why this doesn't exist in Germany. I know that in Germany, again, I've talked about this in a previous video, I talked about it in my do not make these mistakes as a tourist in Germany and got a lot of crap about it. Um, but that again, it goes with the fact that Germany is largely a cash culture. A lot of Germans that I talk to are in denial about this, but I really stand by this just from traveling to other countries. Germany is still predominantly a cash culture again um, but I do think it is a lot quicker and more efficient to have the gas or the, to have the credit card station at the gas pump and this point I have a question for my American friends Max notices I never did until he brought it up but that is that if you go pay for cash for your gas in the US you get a discount for it um, I never really noticed that until Max pointed it out and then we kind of started noticing it more and more at certain gas stations. It's not like that at every single gas station, but it definitely is at a few. Again, I don't know why that is the case. I've never even noticed that, which I'm ashamed to admit because I should definitely focus on the gas station prices a bit more. And it literally says it like right underneath the gas station price. So I don't know how I've never noticed that, but Max noticed it. So if you're American, can you tell me why this is a thing? Because I just started noticing this. Okay, this is another big difference, which I don't know why this difference exists. I don't know which one is better or worse, 
but in the USA, there's one gas pump and you press the different buttons for the different type of gas, like if you want regular or medium or premium. And in Germany, there's actually different pumps. So instead of one pump and multiple buttons, it's different pumps, which again, it's just one of those strange differences that you don't really notice until you're in both of those countries. And this is one of my favorite parts about being at a gas station in Germany is that even at gas stations in Germany, you can get like premium coffee by that. I mean, you can have cappuccinos and lattes. You definitely can't do that here in the US. Most places don't offer cappuccinos per se, but um, I think a larger concept in the US is that you get ices. I don't know exactly if there's even ices in Germany, but this is what an IC is. I'm gonna go ahead and show it here for my German friends that might not know what that is. Again, I don't know if ICs are a thing in Germany. I've never had one personally, but that's like a huge concept in the US is going inside to get an IC or slushy or like a large soda. And in Germany, I just love that you can get cappuccinos at the gas station. I think it's such a European concept and I love it. So in the USA, when you go inside to pay cash, you pay up front, and by that I mean, let's say I know that my gas tank takes about $20 to fill up. When I go inside, I say, okay, I'll take $20. Uh, versus in Germany, it's the other way around. You put the gas in and then pay afterwards, if I'm understanding that correctly. It's definitely the other way around in the US, and then once you fill your gas tank up and if there's cash left, then you just go inside and get your cash back, or if it's on card, it just like they just stop it you know um, but you pay up front first you don't pay after you get the gas if that makes sense um, even at the pump you put in your card first so kind of talking about differences um, I probably should have mentioned this point earlier when we were talking about the whole cappuccino and icy situation but in the USA it's really normal to have taco and burrito stands inside it's normal to have these like little taquerias. Um, I don't know if this is just a thing here in the South in Texas, but it's definitely a normal thing here. And I miss that so much. Like when I stop at rest stops in Germany, um, because the tacos tend to be really good. We actually have this one gas station called stripes and a lot of people will just go there to eat their tacos on a normal day, not even if they have to get gas, but they're known for having pretty good tacos. Uh, this definitely isn't a concept in Germany. Germany doesn't really have decent Mexican food at all, which is a shame, um, but I don't really know exactly what type of food Germany would have in replacement of our taco burrito stand. I haven't personally noticed a certain type of food that is like predominantly in gas stations. I've noticed that there's bread and stuff like that, but I haven't noticed like a whole food item. So another point that I want to talk about is the prices of beer in Germany versus in the US. So in the US, I would say beer in the gas station is relatively priced compared to the grocery store prices. From my experience, they tend to be around the same prices, sometimes even cheaper. And in Germany, the beer in gas stations is definitely a lot more expensive than in the grocery stores. I've noticed that a lot of things in the gas stations in Germany tend to be a lot more expensive than in the grocery stores. Let's talk about the whole bathroom situation. So bathrooms in the US have this known thing. It's like you never really want to go to the bathroom in the US at a gas station because they are absolutely filthy and disgusting and honestly I'm horrified. But we do here in Texas have this one gas station called Bucky's. And if you go inside, they have really nice bathrooms. They're huge, spacious, and they really upkeep them. Um, versus in Germany, I think that the gas station bathrooms are just generally nicer and they have that system where it's an electronic ticket, like you pay to use a restroom and it's an electronic ticket and you go inside and 
the janitors are always in there cleaning up after somebody's left and yeah i just think the whole bathroom situation is a lot more pleasant in germany than in the u.s again i'm just going to throw in a quick difference too in the u.s we talk about gallons and in germany y'all talk about liters so that's just another difference and last but not least overall gas in the u.s is way 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 cheaper than in germany every time i get gas here i think it's kind of expensive i'm talking about the u.s and max is like oh my gosh it's so cheap um but yeah gas in germany is ridiculously expensive i if i lived in germany I would not have my own car because the price of gas is just not worth it to me. So that is all that I have for this video. Let me know down in the comments below if you were surprised about these differences because I know when I was talking about this topic with Max, I was actually surprised at how many differences there were. Um, so yeah, I thought it was a fun video. Again, if you're not already, please subscribe to my channel. It's absolutely free, but it helps this channel grow and it means the world to me. Also, please remember to give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Ciao, tschüss, bis dann.